Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean, where today I've got something very different for you all because I'm actually here for a first ever visit to a new country for me. It's San Marino. Uh, now this country is one of the smallest in the world. It's something like the fourth smallest country out there. And basically with this, it's surrounded by Italy. So you've got the country here and then Italy's all around it. So there's not even a major airport this country is that small. Along with that as well, uh, it's also fully surrounded by Italy, meaning that there's no coast to this country. They've got no uh, sort of sea, there's no water around the outside of them. They're completely surrounded. And of course, I'm here with Martin on this trip. He's just down there looking at tickets and things. Uh, whilst we're here in, well, on our Italy trip, we thought, you know what? It's only about a 20 kilometer ride to come and see a new country. And we knew that there was a cable car here from doing a bit of research. So that's what this video is all about. It's very random. We've literally just parked up on a local pay and display car park here in San Marino. We've drove straight here and we've climbed up a massive hill. Honestly, it took us about 15 minutes to drive up a hill. So we're already quite high up and we've made it to the cable car. Uh, this is the station for it just behind me. At the moment, I don't know any facts or anything about it. I don't know when it opened or anything like that, but I will find them facts out somewhere at the top or hopefully there's a manufacture plate somewhere We'll learn a bit more about it. Uh, yeah, that's the station. I think we buy tickets down the bottom, so we'll head around there shortly. And uh, yeah, it looks like it was quite an old system before because here's one of the old gondolas. Look at this. So I'll spin you around so you can see it there. But uh, there you go. There's one of the gondolas. Obviously, it's all in Italian. That's the language what they speak here in San Marino. But yeah, one of the smallest countries in the world. And we thought we're going to have to come here just to see this cable car and, and, and obviously, obviously get the country credit, you know, come and visit. But yeah, I assume capacity 20 people, 450 an hour is that? And does that mean in service from March 1967 to the March 1995, I think that's saying. However, it doesn't look like these gondolas have been running since 1995. To me, these look really quite modern. So I'd imagine it's been updated since maybe but that's all guesswork. I don't know, we're gonna find out, but we're gonna go and buy a ticket in a moment. Like I say, we've come into this country from Italy. There's no like proper border or anything like that. We've just drove straight in. It's a bit like when you're driving between the Netherlands and Germany and stuff, there's just a sign like, welcome to San Marino. But yeah, one of the smallest countries in the world, first ever visit. We've been here about 15 minutes driving through. So let's buy our tickets and go up on this cable car. It doesn't look absolutely huge, however, it is operating uh, because I've just seen some people uh, down in the bottom ticket centre here. It doesn't look very operational, but obviously it's one of those where there's two. There's one at the top now, one here at the bottom, and they'll pass each other as it uh, makes its way up and the other one comes down. But here we go. Let's go and have a look at the ticket prices. And uh, yeah, welcome to this video here on Adventure Sean from San Marino. Something very different for you all. So we've made it inside here to the ticket booth. And here's a look at the opening times for the different times of year when you're visiting. And also the ticket price is there as well. A round trip is priced at four euros 50. One way, two euros 80. A few different prices for different things there as well. 12 ride pass, eight euros. Right, let's buy a ticket. Next departure, tells you on the screen just there. And it's up these steps. Here we are then, so scan the ticket over there on the turnstiles and up we go on the cable car. And as I mentioned just at the start of the video, we're already very quite high up here, so even though the journey on the cable car has only just started, look at the views. Absolutely incredible all across San Marino and over to Italy. <laughs> See the reflection of the gondola on the buildings down there as well. Very quick, very, very fast. Getting up here. Oh, there's the other one coming down. So obviously with this two gondolas, one goes up, one comes down. Here's a popping a little bit now. Wow, you can see for miles and miles. Mm. Look over this way. Mm. It's slowing down a little bit. Let's have a look out this front window. 
Wow, and we don't really have a clue what's at the top, but we're about to find out. <laughs> Really short journey on that, like, what, maybe about a minute and a half, two minutes? And here we are, into the top station. So there we go, we've made it up to the top, and as I mentioned just when we was in the gondola, uh, a very short ride actually in the cable car, probably about two minutes, mainly because we climbed up to get to that base station, up lots of different roads. And uh, yeah, here we are, look at this view. Absolutely incredible, wow. So we started off down there, there's that bottom station of the car park, and zooming out, da -da -da -da. that is pretty spectacular. So you of course see over into Italy, all the way round with this being such a small country, San Marino, we've got a new country today, it's great. You can see over towards where we've been. If you want to see my other videos from this trip, of course, have, head over to Theme Park Worldwide, my other channel where we're covering different attractions. We've actually been to Italy in miniature this morning. And that's looking over towards like Rimini and all the coast over there, the, the seas over there, sort of in that direction. Really nice area up here and lots of buildings and things to look around. Like I say, only a short little video from this one because we haven't got loads of time. But yeah, this cable car looks very, very modern. This whole area looks like it's recently been either refurbished or just installed, to be honest. Oh, wow, and the views look like they're even better around here. Here in San Marino. It's very interesting, isn't it, how it's a country that's surrounded by another country. You know, there's no water or anything like that. Very, very interesting. It hasn't got its own coast. You know, it's not got its own major airport either. Look out there over all the mountains. Some of those look huge, especially a bit further back. Incredible. What we didn't realise was, was how big it actually is up here. I mean, look at this, a full map of the area. We're currently standing here inside that red circle. And the little shot there, you've just seen the buildings where the guy was mowing the lawn is obviously these buildings here. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. There's all these different streets, restaurants, hotels up here. And there is a car park here, so I assume you can drive up here. I probably wouldn't want to drive up this high, but all these nice little restaurants, very nice little street. Very, very quaint, isn't it? Lovely, very relaxing. <coughs> Lovely, oh, I might have to have an ice cream from here. It's a real adventure and it's very last minute as well. That's what me and Martin are like, quite last minute. Like I say, check out our other theme park vlogs from this trip over on Theme Park Worldwide. Loads to look around up here. Merry Christmas, everybody. It might be April, but Christmas is already in stock. There's a Christmas shop here in San Marino. It's even got a little carousel and a Ferris wheel in the window. All of these buildings are really clean. All the brickwork on them. A nice clock up there as well with a bell on top. Got this little water feature just here. Obviously not on at the moment. I wonder if it's still 
works with that's got more history to it honestly after coming up here and filming this video i'll be doing so much more research normally when i film things for this channel i try and do a bit of research before this is the first thing what i've sort of done and we've sort of just winged it and come up here and and, and had a look around some very nice restaurants and there's some sort of tour it seems going on here some sort of official tour like you could spend hours walking around up here there's so many streets just going off in different directions we were just expecting like a, a visitor center up here but there's a lot more than that it's a full town wow what an absolutely wonderful unexpected place to come like i could spend hours walking around here and seeing it all it really is wonderful and this this guy looks like a fellow British tourist around this. You, you speak English, sir? You speak English? Uh, no, no. no. Oh, so no. I, I, oh, he looks. He just looks very English, like an English Italian. Tourist, an English Italian, tourist. Italian, though. Yeah. They, they, honestly, though, this is lovely around here. Very, very nice. All these cute little streets that you're walking around, and yeah, everything looks so new. Like you can tell it's got a lot of history to it, but just everything, like it's stunning. Honestly, seeing all this architecture, it's the complete opposite to anything what I've showed you on this channel so far. Where we've looked around big cities, you know, like New York, Paris, London, it's very different, especially when I spin the camera around this way and you see all the buildings Hello. at the side. Look at that. Beautiful, all the way down the street. Really, really nice. What an absolutely beautiful area to walk around amazing to see and this cable car is stunning i've actually managed to find a bit more information out now about this cable car it actually originally opened in 1959 obviously very different to how it looks now and it's been modernized twice since it originally opened uh, once in the 90s and then again in 2017 i assume it was 2017 when they put in uh, all the new gondolas and everything like that maybe the stations existed before but the whole system was updated then so i imagine it took a lot longer to get up here than it does do now where like i say it's like less than two minutes but yeah it's one of the most used means of transport to reach the top here as well it's managed by the state company for public services in san marino a bit of technical data for you that i've also found online 338 meters length and the difference in altitude is 166 meters there we are speed of six meters per second on this cable car as well. It's got a maximum capacity of 50 people in each one of the two cabins just here. And it can do 1,200 people an hour, departs every 15 minutes. Obviously, it can run more if they need to. But yeah, a little bit of information for you before we head back down. Really nice, I'd love to come back here when we've got more time and come and explore more around the top. But yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous, made even better by this wonderful weather. A bit of okay. ski data yeah. turnstile action. Oh, there we go. Time for our return journey. Just had a lovely ice cream up here as well. It was very, very nice. Martin's got a front row pee over here. Lovely. Oh, yes. Great view for coming back down. Down we go. Just saying to Martin, you drop quite a bit here as well. Whoa. You don't feel it as much inside as it looks from outside. You just tilt. Down we go in San Marino. Great views. Still can't believe how fast this feels. Six meters a second is a lot. Got a little bit of pop music playing in there as well. And like I said back at the start of the video, we've already climbed a lot on the roads to get to this point. 
to make it back down into the bottom station. Short ride, well worth it. Four euros fifty, I think it's more, more than worth it for that. For those views at the top. Absolutely stunning. And here we are. 21 degrees. Lovely. So we made it back down then on the cable car as you saw just there. What an absolutely awesome hour or so we've just had there here in San Marino. And as I mentioned back at the start of the vlog, we were we we drove up this big hill here to actually get up to the top. Some really good driving from Martin. So hopefully it'll be a bit easier to get back down. The following the sat down. <laughs> Second exit, it's like a left turn it's gonna be. We get around here. Um, yeah, so we're just driving down. I'll show you a few more shots as we make our way down the hill just here and we'll wrap up this vlog here on Adventure Sean. Yeah, so it's a left turn at the roundabout down that road over there. Bit of live sat nav action for you. <laughs> So I've only actually been driving for about 10 minutes to get down from the top of the hill there. And this is it, we're now leaving oh. San Marino. <laughs> a few cones there. And we're back in Italy. There we are. It just shows how much of a small country that is, but there you go, another new country to visit. And there you go. Wonderful, and that wraps up another video here on Adventure Sean. So there we go then, something a little bit different here on Adventure Sean today, just a quick trip into San Marino, last minute, thanks to Martin for uh, coming up with that one, and uh, yeah, it was really good fun. The views from up there, absolutely incredible, in fact, some of the best views uh, that I've ever seen in my life, like 25 years, and up there was absolutely beautiful, and I think, yet again, because it was so unexpected, like, we didn't know we were coming to this, it wasn't planned at all, we knew the cable car existed from just looking at some leaflets and a bit of research, um, but yeah, we didn't know if we we're going to come and do it or not but there you go thank you very much for watching this video if you are coming to san marino uh then just be careful on the roads because honestly italy san marino like they are a little bit crazy on the road so you've got to uh, got to watch yourselves like i was having to little move over there because the car's coming on and stuff honestly you've got to watch out but uh yeah that cable car was really good and great value at four euros fifty for a round trip as well it's definitely worth coming out to see i'd love to come back and explore more up the top there but I'm glad that I managed to work out a bit more information on it. The fact that what it was built in the 50s, I think it was, and it's had that regeneration work. And obviously up the top there, it looks like there's a lot to explore. So I'd definitely like to come back at some point in the future. But there you go. Thank you very much for joining me for another video here on Adventure Sean. We're making our way back into Italy. And of course, if you want to see uh, lots more of my trip, head over to Theme Park Worldwide, uh, my other channel, where I've filmed lots of different parks and attractions so far on this trip. Thanks for watching, and that leaves me with one more thing to say. Get out there, visit new countries, and have your own adventures. See you soon.